Hey friends, what's up? Welcome to this awesome series where we are learning Verilog language. So let's begin with it. Friends, today we are going to learn the concept of modules in Verilog. So friends, let us firstly revise what we have learned in the previous lectures. In lecture number one, we learned how to install Xilinx IAC design suite. In lecture number two, we learned what is Verilog. In lecture number three, we got to know the difference between Verilog and VHDL. Whereas in the last lecture, we got to know about the different design styles present in Verilog and the VLSI design cycle. So friends, if you have not watched my previous lectures, I will recommend you that watch all my previous lectures so that your basic concepts become strong. Okay friends, so let's begin with today's lecture. So friends, let us firstly understand the concept of modules break down the complex task so what do we mean by this statement for example i have assigned you a very complex task like you have to design a whole chip then what you will do you will break this chip into small modules you will implement these small modules independently and when all these modules are ready you will integrate all these modules Friends, if you are aware of C language, then you can relate this concept with the concept of making functions. Like in C language, we make different functions and then we call those functions from the main function so that we can achieve different goals. Similarly, in, in Verilog, we make different modules. After making all those modules, uh, we integrate all those modules so that we can finally design a chip. Okay. So let's take an example to learn about the concept of modules. Friends, let us firstly see the syntax of our module. So first of all, we write module, the name of module, list of ports. List of ports basically means that what will be the input and what would be the output. We need to write all the names which will be the input and what will be the output. Then we do input output declaration. Then we do, do local net declarations. Then we do, then we write the parallel statements. And then at the end we write end module. So let us take an example. For example, if we want to make a simple AND gate, what we will do is, let us consider that X and Y are the inputs, whereas F is the output. So we will write input X, Y, output F, assign F is equal to X and Y. This x and y will do and of x and y and will assign the value of, of x and y to f. So whatever answer we will get from here, that value will be assigned to f and then we wrote end module. So friends, I hope you got to know that how we can make an and gate by writing just these three statements. Friends, for example, if I want to make a circuit, Okay, so we want to implement this circuit using hardware description language, Verilog. So what would be the structure of my module? First of all, I will write module, then the name of module. Here the name of my module is example. Then what are the inputs and what are the outputs? So A, B, C, D are the inputs, whereas F is the final output. Now the inputs are A, B, C, D and output is F. Whereas we also need to define this T1 and T2. These are some internal signals. So we will define it as wire T1, T2. We will soon get to know that what do we mean by a wire. 
whereas at present you can you can memorize it in a way that whenever we are interested in making some sort of signals which are present internal to the circuit then we use this concept of wire now whatever answer we will get from a and b that value will be assigned to t1 whatever value we will get we will get from not c or d which means this gate firstly we did c or d and then a not that value will be assigned to t2 whereas the answer which we will get from t1 and t2 and they are not so and gate and a not gate that means an and gate that value will be assigned to f so now you can easily get the value of f which is your output so friends like this we can implement any any digital circuit in this manner by using the concept of modules friends in the next lecture we will implement the circuit on xilinx and we will try to analyze the same through its waveforms so friends thanks for watching this lecture have a nice day